What's up? I'm number 26. I'm here to give you a two-part video. First part being the more important part kind of is of this video, uh, where I'm going to talk about the New Japan Pro Wrestling card in Japan, Wrestle Kingdom 4, and then the second part I'll get to a little later. But uh, Wrestle Kingdom 4 uh, uh, is probably this is probably the biggest show in Japan in the year. Uh, with all the companies, I, I'd even go to say um, it, it always is held in the Tokyo Dome, uh, where they're going to have. I don't, I don't even know the number whether they're expecting this year. Uh, my guess is it's around 40,000. Um, this, this is kind of the WrestleMania of Japan, and it, it's different. But um, Wrestle Kingdom 3 last year got a lot of attention in uh, among uh, the YouTube wrestling community because it was so awesome. And, the, and that card was kind of a more of a WrestleMania type of all-around type of card, which was um, awesome. But this, this card is awesome as well, but it's taking a little bit of a different direction where... It, it looks like a great all-round card, but it's also focusing on the individual matchups because they really can't afford to bring in so many wrestlers because, I guess, of the economy or something like that. Can't afford to bring in, like, Mystico is not on this card. He was on the one last year. Uh, they're only going to bring in two AAA guys, I think, or two CMLL guys. Only, and only, uh, only, and only, only see two TNA guys this year. But they are bringing in other people that really don't have a any affiliation, and you can see them in the uh, description box, so let's get to this card, uh, this is, actually this place takes place tomorrow night, January 4th, with all luck, I'll be watching this and not WWE TNA, actually, I'm not counting on that, but anyway, because uh, I really want to see WWE tomorrow, but, or, and actually I want to see everything, but, that's, all right, let's at least get to the card, all right, opener, or at least one of the matches is going to be Wataru Inoue, Mitsu Hyde, Har. Hara Sawa and Super Strong Machine versus Koji Kanemoto, Jushin Thunder Liger, and Kazuchika Okada. Uh, I see the team of Kanemoto, Liger, and Okada going over here because there's too much star power with Liger, Liger and Kanemoto on this team. Uh, and basically, just to get the crowd hot because one of the be most recognizable faces in Japanese wrestling, Liger, going over. So that, make, that makes sense to me. And that match should be pretty good in my estimation. Uh, not a lot of high flying in it, but. Should be alright. Uh, definitely not bad. Give it that. Then we got an IWGP, uh, which is the which is which are the belts in New Japan. Junior Heavyweight Tag Team Championship match: Apollo 55 of Prince David and Ryusuke Taguchi versus the CMLL team of Averno and Ultimo Guerrero. Both of both Averno and Ultimo Guerrero were in the TNA Triple uh, World X Cup in 2008, so you should recognize them from that. And Ryusuke Taguchi and Prince David had probably the best New Japan match with the Motor City Machine Guns this past year. Uh, where they won the IWGP uh, Junior Tag Team Championship. And I do see them going over here because there really is no point in putting them on the CMLL guys, in my estimation, uh, right now. Because I think Devitt and Dekuchi are really, really strong champions. So I don't really see a point in taking the belts off of them right now. Uh, and that match should probably be great. I mean, just Prince Devitt's probably my second favorite New Japan guy, or third favorite. Um, and I like Dekuchi a lot as well. So... Uh, and Devitt is British, so you get to see a, a really good British junior heavyweight. Not, not, not as good as Pac, in my estimation, but uh, a really good one still in Japanese wrestling, which is good, in my opinion. Then we get a three-way hardcore match for the IWGP Tag Team Championship. Team 3D, Brother Ray and Brother Devon, versus Bad Intentions of Carl Anderson and Giant Bernard, versus No Limit, Tetsutsun, Naito, and Yohiro. Uh, all these teams have connections with American mainstream wrestling and somewhat. Brother Ray, Brother Devon, or Team 3D and TNA. Giant Bernard was A Train or Albert in WWF, WWE, and uh, versus No Limit uh, were in TNA for a little while with Kyoshi. But I do see, I do see Bad Intentions actually winning the IWGP Tag Team Titles here because they want to. I don't think they've had a, a strictly New Japan team win the belts uh, or have the belts since last year's Wrestle Kingdom when Team 3 3D won them from I forget who I think it was. Yano and Maccabee, I'm not sure on that. Uh, don't quote me on that, but um, but and, but all these teams are good. I like to see just kind of because No Limit is a junior heavyweight tag team, and both the other tag teams are heavyweight tag teams, so it'd be kind of cool to see there. And but bad intentions, I do see Carl Anderson and Jack Bernard winning the tag team titles here. Then we get a little bit of an interesting match: Aki Bono and teaming with Yuji Nagata versus Tajiri and Masato Tanaka. These are four Japanese guys that are coming from all different directions, and this match should be very, very fun and good because of it, even though I'm not a big fan of Aki Bono, and I'm a pretty big fan of the other three, especially Tajiri and Tanaka. So I'm going to give them the win because of that. I mean, I, I, Aki Bono is kind of the wild card here. I really don't see how, how, how he's going to 
add in. He was doing matches with Dragon Gate, and like now he's in New Japan. I really don't see how he's gonna add in. Then we get an eight-man tag team match, but just be, should be fun. Uh, Masahiro Chono, Ricky Choshu, Terry Funk, and Manabu Nakanishi versus Abdul the Butcher, Takashi Itsuka, Tomorrow Ishii, and Toru Yano. Uh, I don't know a lot about a lot of these wrestlers, but I'm gonna go with the team of Funk, Chono, Choshu, and Nakanishi only because they have Terry Funk on their team, and Terry Funk is really well, well respected in Japan. Not that. I do the butcher and a lot of the other these guys aren't, but the team of Chono, Cho Choshu, and Funk have a lot of star power on it, so I'm gonna give them the win. Then to finish off the card, we have five New Japan versus Noah matches. Uh, first is probably the one I'm looking forward to the least. Uh, Togi Makabe versus Mohamed Yone. I'm not big fans of either of these guys, but I'm gonna give Makabe the win. Uh, even though this match should be good, I'm not. Uh, I'm gonna give Makabe the win only because he's a New Japan guy, and because this is a kind of a New Japan card, I'm gonna give that. New Japan the first win. Then we get an IWGP Junior Heavyweight Championship match. Tiger Mask 4 versus now Michi Marafuji. Uh, I'm going to give Marafuji to win the title here. Only because... Um, uh, there's no real reason. I just think that Tiger Mask isn't uh, that strong of a wrestler. And I really hope that uh, Marafuji wins here. Because he won the Super J Cup. He's on, he just came back. So I think it would be good for him to win the title here. Before he holds a major title in Noah, which I do see him holding in the next couple of years. Uh, again, I, I do see him actually holding the GHA Heavyweight Championship again sometime in the next like three or four years. Uh, then we get the match of the, which I'm predicting to be the match of the night. And even if you're not that much into Japanese wrestling, you know how epic this match is going to be. Uh, Hiroshi Tanahashi versus Go Shiozaki. Uh, Go Shiozaki recently lost the GHA Heavyweight Championship to. I'll get, I'll get to that in the next match. And Tanahashi. But so Tanahashi's kind of the ace of New Japan, and Shizaki is kind of the heavyweight ace of Noah now. So it's kind of the two aces of the, both companies coming together and facing this match would be absolutely epic. I'm gonna give the win to. I don't know. I honestly would give it to Tanahashi only because it's a New Japan thing. This is a New Japan card, and I think, and but maybe Shizaki needs because he recently lost the JT Heavyweight Championship. I don't. As long as this match is epic, I really don't care who goes over. Uh, and then we get the two uh, championship, uh, or at least the two heavyweight championship matches of the uh, night. First being the GHC heavyweight championship from Pro Wrestling Noah. The champion, Takashi Sugera versus probably my favorite New Japan guy, Roki Goto. Um, I wasn't a big fan of Sugera until I saw his title match with Shizaki, which if you haven't seen, go check it out. It's amazing. Uh, so basically, I'm expecting this match to be great. Uh... Even though I'd love to see Goto with the uh, GHC Heavyweight Championship, uh, I don't think it's going to happen. I'm giving Sugera the win here, only because what's the point in Sugera winning it? Unless it's like, he did it good for all of his accomplishments, Pearl's like Noah so far, if he's going to lose it to a New Japan guy less than a month after winning it. And then we have the IWGP Heavyweight Championship match in the, in the main event over the GHC Heavyweight Championship match, but this is a New Japan card, so... I do see why that's happening. Shinsuke Nakamura, the champion, versus Yoshihiro Takayama. I believe if Takayama wins this match, uh, he'll be the only second person to hold the top belt in All Japan, New Japan, and Noah. Uh, and it, that's a good trivia question, because I think the only other man to win it is Sasaki. I'm not 100% sure on that, but I think that's true. Um, but I do see Nakamura winning the belt here, or retaining the belt here, because for the reason of... Uh, I'm, I'm, well... It would make more sense to have this title change hands to a Noah guy, but that would look too. Even though it's a New, New Japan wrestling card, it looked like because you would you would have uh, Noah guys or you would have Noah guys winning, winning the majority of matches because I put Marafuji, uh, Sugera, and then if I put Takayama over, they would give them the advantage. So either way, I make this like a two-two kind of thing and have a New Japan versus Noah with two big guys going at it. Uh, if that made any sense. So, but I would give Nakamura the win here only because. This is a New Japan belt, and Takayama really doesn't compete for New Japan all that often. So there's that card. Um, and it does look very, very amazing. Um, I guess I'm not going to get to the second part of this video today. Uh, I'll probably do something with that in the near future. So I'll see you guys later.